Kevin. Kevin. Kevin's gonna give me a haircut. I haven't had a haircut in like three months. There's a lot of crap in my head. I make it feel good in this hot, hot weather. I just don't, I don't think that everybody wants to travel. I think everybody should. The empathy that is, is so... That's the way I want to say this. The empathy that you gain from traveling is amazing. You become one with the world. You become a, a connected, a connected group of socially minded people. There's a bike in the back over here, in the second garage, and apparently I can use it. So we'll see how it works. Weird, hotel is like a pub here, so I'm gonna go over to the Imperial Pub for a Toastmasters meeting. If you don't know what Toastmasters is, it's a place where you can practice your public speaking. It has been a long and exhausting day, but super productive. Worked for like forever, like eight hours, and then decided it was time to go play some Frisbee. So I ran a 4K to a Frisbee, and then played frisbee. My name's Andy. I'm a, I'm a coordinator at Thorpe Foods and I've been here for nearly three years coordinating. I study at the uni and um, I work as a builder full time in, yeah, so this is my, my after hours, get my head out of building sort of relaxation activity. We're an organic food cooperative, so it's an alternate business model. We uh, sell mostly organic and, and locally sourced foods. Um, so if you volunteer here, like I'm doing, um, we can get up to 40% off. So if I volunteer for two hours a week, I'll get 40% off all my grocery bills for that whole week. Everyone's sort of got the same same end goal. They want to you know, maybe build a community or sustain a community, which is what this is. It's a volunteering community. So we make our own peanut butter. It's, you know, you can choose what what grind you want. So it's not just one grind, you can choose what grind you want. So if you want smooth at the bottom of your jar and then crunchy at the start, you can do that. I'm here, I'm here with Dean and Pamela and more. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. Okay. Um, so I just have a couple questions for y'all. What is your commitment to your community? Doing something we're going to do. I would say that there's a lot of people out there that, that sometimes they're not physically able to do stuff, like the elderly for example. And I always appreciate it helping hands. I do volunteer my time to a few organisations. I guess, like, knowing what the community <laughs> wants is like what you would need to know about your commitment first of all, but if you know what the community wants then you can just try and make it a better place for everyone. I guess that's what the commu commitment is, like, say you live in a neighbourhood with a lot of families around, you'd want to be like more quiet, those sort of things maybe, or... Yeah, I don't know. It's just based with neighbours, I guess. Yeah, in my, that's what in we my think mind. about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just not being idiots. I really was adamant to stay a part of the community, make sure it fr thrives, even though I know, like, in the near future, that I probably won't be able to commit as much time as I have to it. But being able to secure something on campus. Looking after the people around you, I suppose. Yeah, doing what you can to keep people safe. Eventually, he might. Start volunteering one day. Hope so yeah, hope so yeah, for sure. Yeah. Is is there a way an outlet for for him to start at some point? Yeah, they have it's called a nippers program. So they start at four, um, and they learn all the beach skills, um, which is again it's all it's all volunteer. So all the parents get down there and teach them how to do it and stuff. So. So I'm meeting with a couple people next week about working with Aboriginal communities. I think that would be a really good introduction 
to the, the commonalities between Native Americans and Aboriginals here and their struggles. As for volunteer opportunities, I'll be starting this weekend with Cause Corps. So I'm excited about the relationship that we're building with them. Which way to go? So I got Paul Clark with me here. What do we talk about today? Uh, we talk so basically, Stefan did all the things that I told him not to do, such as walking with the camera, filming in noisy places, and panning with a camera without the proper equipment like a tripod or any kind of steady cam. So. Yeah, I mean, I can't say that I'm not surprised that that happened. I'm just a little, like a, like a father, just a little disappointed.